Uh, good evening. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Travis Brown. Uh, I'm going to be reading a poem that I wrote in response to uh, Judy Pfaff's piece, uh, the one on your left, uh, which is called News. Uh, it was N-E-W-S. Now you know how to spell news. So, uh, And it's got periods after each letter. That was a joke. It was awesome. Um, and it, and then in parentheses, or part of the title is like Northeast, West, South. And you can kind of see, maybe you can. Oh, yeah, there's like uh, in the middle, the globe there, there's kind of, I, I just fixated on Florida a little bit, so there's some stuff in my poem. Um, anyway, uh, I studied poetry. I taught here for a number of years uh, and elsewhere. I'm currently working on becoming a nurse. So uh, I've been through lots of transformations. I'm really happy to be part of this tonight because I think art is transformative and exciting and can be scary. Um, so I was thinking about how this is a kind of a map and um, the materials that Pfaff was in, uh, making use of here. I tried to incorporate into the poem as well as some directions using the, those cardinal directions. Um, and I, I thought it was interesting because I, th I think a map is an interesting thing. I like maps. We have a gazetteer in our car. We don't have a you know, the digital thing. We have a gazetteer. I like to look at it. Um, I like maps. And um, they're interesting because they're static, but they're about moving, which is an interesting idea. And I think poems are kind of like that, where they're static on the page. They're just words, which are sometimes kind of boring. But on a page, they have energy. They have movement. Um, and so I was thinking about that. I was really thinking about what um, Robert Frost said, which is a, a poem is like a, a piece of ice on top of a stove. Those weren't his words, but because butchering it, but it has to ride on its own melting. Like that's what a poem does, like a piece of ice on top of a hot stove. So it rides on its own melting. So I kind of always think about that when I'm writing a poem. And we'll see if this one rides on its own melting. So anyway, this one's called uh, Directions for an Exit. After looking at News by J. Pfaff, 1988. North from the near permanent semi-soft erection that is, whoops, north from the near permanent semi-soft erection. That is what was on the tip of Ponce's tongue when, the, when he whispered the word youth. It was just a sound, a faucet, a thing the God forgot or left full on and open. So long we forget, forgetting is a leaving too, too. Too long in Florida, that steaming and sinking bog. Who can say enough goodbyes to it? Not me. I turn, I just turn east to the waves, their red acrylic sheets. My sky's a painted steel plate upon which I place my daily found objects, black discus, black teardrops. And then I head out for the vast sea, which is impossible, undrinkable, saline. For unhinged wounds, fresh for that old going west. Young man, I come to do a simple nursing. Cloth and thread for your chronic dreaming. Curiotage for your newfound briquettes. For all your lovely affectations. And when Ezra said in that subway so far away, make it new. He was already crazy dead petals on a wet black bough. So tired like a doornail. Tired like that, a thing goes ass over, bent from misuse, a person then shuffling in its electronic shoes, in its positron conduction shirt. Still shiny, somehow, after all the endeavor, a hundred years or more of just holding the ladder. The father, a geometry of colors, lines, shapes, clear but inscrutable, the mother hanging over the whole enterprise like wire kinked or torqued by heartfelt misapplications of, dis of diplomacy and salve, just a little more breath poured into the words, while the old countries went south, stacking up like dishes, and who else but us will do this dirty work of escaping and then become clean, 
prisoners to something new on a bright yellow morning. And when you say, the red and white striped sunset is ready. Now, honey, I know that much is true. Thanks. Thank you.